please subscribe and you can download this code from description below. Q simulation is a useful concept in computer science and real world applications. It involves modeling and simulating the behavior of a queue, where items are added to the back of the queue and removed from the front in a first in first out, FIFO, manner. Q simulations are commonly used in scenarios such as task scheduling, print job management, and more. In this tutorial, we'll build a simple queue simulation in Python. We'll use Python's built-in data structure, the DIC, to represent the queue, and we'll create a simulation of adding and removing items from the queue. Before you start, make sure you have Python installed on your computer. You can download Python from python.org. First, open your text editor or IDE and create a new Python file, example q underscore simulation.py. We will use the collections module to import the DIC data structure, so there's no need to install any additional packages. We start by importing the DIC data structure from the collections module, as well as the random module to generate random events. We initialize an empty queue using the DIC constructor. Simulation underscore time represents the number of time units we want to simulate. You can adjust this value according to your requirements. We simulate the queue for the specified number of time units using a loop. Inside the loop, we generate a random number between 0 and 1 to determine if a new item arrives. In this example, we use a probability of 0.3 for a new item to arrive, but you can adjust this probability as needed. If a new item arrives, we create a string representing the item and append it to the end of the queue. We print a message indicating that the item has been added. We then check if the queue is not empty and process the item at the front of the queue using pop left. We print a message indicating that the item has been processed. If the queue is empty, we print a message indicating that the queue is empty. Finally, after the simulation is complete, we check if the queue is empty. If it's empty, we print a message indicating that the queue is empty, otherwise, we print the number of items left in the queue. To run the simulation, open your terminal or command prompt, navigate to the directory where your Python file is located, and execute the script using the following command. You will see the simulation output in the terminal, showing the items being added and processed in the queue at each time unit. Feel free to modify and expand this basic queue simulation to suit your specific needs and use cases. You can add more complex logic, adjust probabilities, and implement various queue management strategies. ChatGPT